My name is Philip Hodge. I'm a physician with Southeastern Neurosurgical and Spine Institute, part of the Greenville Hospital System, and I'm here today to talk to you about spinal cord stimulation. Spinal cord stimulation is a therapy that is often used for chronic pain of the extremities. In my practice, I see many patients who have sciatica or uh, radiculopathy that has not been tr treated successfully by surgery. Uh, in those patients, in a small portion of those patients, spinal cord stimul stimulation is a viable therapy for them. What a spinal cord stimulator is, I, I explain it simply to my patients as a pacemaker for the spine. And what we do is we have a small battery, <clears throat> battery operated device that is actually inserted into the spinal canal and interrupts the signals that are created by the painful nerve before they can tra travel all the way to your brain where they register in your brain as pain. What I tell people, a good way to, a good way to think about it is actually if you have an itch, what do you do to sort of relieve yourself, you scratch it. And this spinal cord stimulator provides a distracting stimulus that distracts you or relieves the, the painful stimuli. The exact mechanism of action is not known, but the nerves that are responsible for uh, neuropathic pain and temperature, as well as the nerves for vibration and light touch stimulation end in the dorsal horn of the spinal cord. And it is felt that if you can stimulate the nerves for vibration and light touch, that you can actually inhibit transmission of the nerve signal from the pain generating nerves. That's called, that in, a, in short is called the gate theory of pain control. How this works in my practice, now, if I see a patient that has had surgery and has not had success, has had spine surgery and has not had successful relief of their extremity pain or radiculopathy, the first thing to do is to do a workup and make sure that there's no compressive lesion on the nerve or reversible cause of their nerve pain. Finding none, a basic trial of oral pain medications, sometimes uh, spinal injections, are used to treat post-operative pain. If these patients, after some time, do not develop relief and their nerve has not healed, they then are a potential candidate for spinal cord stimulation. One of the things that is often done is to image the target area, which is not your lumbar spine, where most, of the, where most people pain originates, but the thoracic spine, and ensure that the area that we are trying, uh, uh, that we are considering for spinal cord stimulation is free from anatomic abnormalities. Uh, once this is done, the, pain, the patient will, will see a pain specialist where a spinal cord stimulator trial is done. The trial is a temporary procedure where a needle is used to insert a temporary electrical lead into the spinal canal, which is then attached to an external device for, uh, for its control. And with, and with this device, we can try different configurations and different types of stimulation to see whether the, the, uh, the spinal cord stimulation in general is effective for, for you as a patient. In my experience, um, approximately 70% of the people that I refer for spinal cord stimulation find that it is a very helpful therapy in control of their pain. If the patient finds this, then they will come back to me for implantation, uh, which is a 45-minute surgical procedure in which uh, the generator is implanted somewhere in the back, typically near the buttock, and a wire is tunneled under the skin uh, and into the thoracic 
where it is placed into the thoracic spine via a laminectomy or an open surgical procedure where a small amount of bone is removed from the spinal canal so that we can insert a permanent, uh, a permanent device. That procedure is typically an outpatient procedure and, and patient stimulators are activated within days of the procedure. And most, over 95% of patients find that they get the same exact results that they got during their trial uh, with the implanted device. And, and those people tend to be very, very satisfied patients.